if we can't chart our direction now, uh, we will fail before we start. Uh, this is the exercise which tells the pilot whether he is flying in the direct, on the direct course. Are you going to Heathrow? Are you going to Arare? Are you going to Bulawayo? That decision is made here. And so we want to gain from, his, from your experience having been uh, in, this, in, the, in, in, in this arena for a long, long time. Before we came, we, we met briefly at the law school and said, ah, we sure we are all on board. In other words, are we sure that we know what we are coming to do? This is not just one of those exercises about result-based management. It is an occasion during which we try and ensure that the direction we move will be towards 2030. <clears throat> and consequently, we ran through uh, our new uh, uh, direction, Education 5.4. And I was so impressed because uh, the provost chancellor was so clear about it. And I said, as we chart our course, we must make sure that we are charting our course in the context of 5.0. We, we have to make sure that we are aligning all our uh, uh, programs and plans and ideas within that, that framework. And I want to believe that this week should really be an exciting week for us to uh, uh, go through what has become an extremely important, play, important uh, task. The minister is saying next year he will call on vice chancellors to demonstrate what it is that they've brought to the table. How have you traveled this journey? And to what purpose? We want that to come clear, crystal clear. We don't want to simply walk without not to say, why are we walking in this direction? What will it help us achieve? Let us always keep those two questions in mind. And, and as we, again, as we break new ground, I'm sure you saw the advert on our uh, radio station scoring another first. It will come in the evening, a five minute uh, program where we, they were advertising our, our, our radio station. We are, we are ready to hit the ground running as soon as we get authority from the uh, broadcasting authority of Zimbabwe. We are in an extremely competitive era. And gone are the days when we would need to push you to ask you what it is that we are doing. No. Everyone here is either a pilot or a co-pilot. Every one of us here should be acquainted with what it is that we are doing. And I want to really call on all of us to own this thing, to own it. What can go out and go on with zero? You must be able to say what it is. Whiskey, you got five point zero. You must put that process in the context of five point zero. So, Professor, please just wave. You don't have to stand. Yeah. I'm also thinking that we should devise methods of taking this part five with Zoom to our students. They should know they are the reason we are here. And we must get this uh, uh, doctrine across to our students. So welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to this very important um, uh, Exercise, 
The last one was in 2014, wasn't it? Yeah. 2014. We are here to craft yet another document which must continue to pass set. There is no point in just reproducing things which everybody else is doing. We must pass set. So, welcome. And let us get going. Professor, do you want to say one or two things? Please. Thank you very much, um, uh, Professor Shobodi, the Vice Chancellor. It's a very good morning to, to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as um, uh, Professor Shobo has just uh, intimated to all of you, I'm no newcomer to, to, to Great Zimbabwe uh, University. In fact, I started at uh, Andrew Law. Uh, uh, some people may not know where Andrew Law is, um, or where Andrew Law was. But it's a pleasure to be with, with you this morning. Um, I guess the reason why I'm here is uh, maybe somewhere in between. I would like maybe just about 20 minutes to, to just share with you what the Zimbabwe Council for Higher Education is supposed to do in higher education. Uh, we, we have got a very critical mandate. Uh, we have got a very uh, serious mandate. Uh, as the, the Vice Chancellor has just said, uh, we are very lucky, all of us, we are also very, very unlucky that we have got a Minister of Higher Education who knows exactly what he wants who knows exactly where he wants the higher education system in this country to go, who knows exactly what each and every one of us is supposed to achieve as far as pushing the growth envelope of higher education in this country. In other words, how we can transform the higher education in this country to achieve what he's talking about literally on a daily basis is Education 5.0 that is now added uh, innovation and commercialization. And uh, what you get the VC say earlier on is true. He wants at the end of the year to ask every single one of us what is it that we've achieved as far as education 5.0 is concerned, and especially as far as innovation and commercialization. And you can see what he's trying to do. What he's trying to do is to think very, very differently we, we normally say he's thinking outside the box. What he's actually doing is to throw away the box and, and become very, very disruptive in terms of the role of higher education in the social economic development of this country. I mean, we, we have got a very serious objective that he has put on the table. Uh, actually, this is coming from His Excellency, the President. I mean, 2030, ladies and gentlemen, is tomorrow. 2030 is tomorrow. The president and the government and the minister of higher education is that we should be the motive force behind ensuring that Zimbabwe in 2030 achieves the status of an upper middle income country. Um, I, I didn't want to say it in short, I was just talking to a colleague at breakfast in the morning, I can't say it in the bed. Varukuti, Varukuti, Tirodakuti by 2030. Munikamuno, they won't be a hut. That's what they're saying to us. And they're saying higher education should be at the center of what they're talking about. So that, that objective, that agenda, is not only sacrosanct. That objective, that agenda, is a very serious agenda that Karamaku Fundi some mathematics. Karamaku Fundi some medicine, which we're introducing very shortly. Kanamaku Buchifundi is a law. What is it that, that you are doing, not in terms of a curriculum, but in terms of your program qualification mix, in terms of achieving this overall arcing goal of ensuring that Zimbabwe is an upper middle income country by 2030? As I've said, ladies and gentlemen, 2030 is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are physicists and engineers, you remember what Albert Einstein said in 1937? He said, and I quote, I never think of the future because the future is here and now. So 2030, 
is here and now. And all we need to do is to make sure that it takes place. So with these very few remarks, I would really want to plead uh, with the VC and with the, the organizer that you know, I'll be given 20 minutes later on uh, just to, to articulate what Zimche is there for. But thank you very much, uh, Vice Chancellor. Thank you.